see the first lesson numerical problem. Uh, so far we have finished the theory, only we having the uh, problem only pending having. Uh. So we uh, now we have to work out one by one. Okay. Uh, before that, the example problems having now. Yeah, you just work out in your home. If you have doubt, means you can ask me. Okay, I will tell. Uh, now. Uh, one by one we will see this one numerical problem. First unit numerical problem. Okay. Hmm. Well, let us take a uh, first question. So I read out the first question in numerical problems. When two objects are rubbed with each other, approximately a charge of 50 nanocoulomb can be produced in each object. Calculate the number of electrons that must be transferred to produce this charge. So uh, read out the question see also. So what do, you, what do you understand about that? Uh, when two objects rubbed with each other, okay, what happens? Approximately a charge of 50 nanocoulombs can be produced in each object. Over object, you have 50 nanocoulombs are produced by it. Apo, how much of energy transferred from one object to another object? You have the electrons on the transfer item. You have to calculate the formula. Apo, the formula is the number that is the first person. You make the problem the first person. That is uh, uh, given. What is the value given here? That is Q is equal to 50 nano coulomb. Nano coulomb is 50 into 10 to the power of minus 9 coulomb. Okay, nano coulomb. What is the formula we have to use? Q is equal to NE. Or N is equal to Q by E. That is equal to. What is the Q? Q is nothing but 50 into 10 to the power of minus 9 divided by E is nothing but what? Charge of the electron. That we already saw in the theoretical part. Upper E is equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 coulomb. Okay. Now, therefore, we have to cancel this one. Upper, what is the next uh, uh, step becomes 50 divided by 16 into 10 to the power of minus 9 divided by we have to remove the decimal point here. Upper, therefore, the power becomes minus 10. On cancelling these two, so therefore 50 divided by 16 into 10 to the power of minus 11. Now strike out this one. On dividing this one, what we will get? 3.125 into 10 to the power of minus 11. Or otherwise 31.25 into 10 to the power of minus 11 uh, electrons. How much of electrons transferred from one body to another body they are asking. Upper number of electrons transferred is n is equal to 31.25 into 10 to the power of minus 11 electrons. Okay. Uh, do you understand about this first problem? Very easiest one. It is based on two mark. Okay. Next, second question. Now you read out the second question. The total number of electrons in the human body is typically in the order of 10 to the power of 48. Suppose due to some reason you and your friend lost one percentage of the number of electrons. Calculate the electrostatic force between you and your friend separated at a distance of 1 meter. Compare this with your weight. Assume mass of each person is 60 kilogram is given and use point charge approximation. Okay. Let us take a two such object, okay, to such a human body that is the MBTDS object, okay. How much of uh, total number of uh, electrons in the human body is uh, total number of number of electrons? Number of electrons, how much? Number of electrons in both the body. Number of electrons in both both the body. C equal to 10 to the power of 28 electrons. Due to some reason, some one percentage of this, uh, what a charge is, uh, one percentage of its uh, number of number of electron is lost. However, after one percentage of this number of electron is lost, what is the electrons uh, having in both the body? Upper after the loss of, after the loss of one percentage of electrons, we have. And 1 by 100 into 10 to the power of 28. That is equal to 10 to the power of 26 electrons. But after the loss of 1 percentage of electrons, how much of electrons in both the body, uh, in um, each body, that is equal to 10 to the power of 26 electrons. They are asked to calculate 
what is the electrostatic force between the two bodies? So what is the electrostatic force formula? That is F E that is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught 2 1 q 2, 2 divided by R square. Here both the bodies are separated by a distance, R is equal to 1 meter is given. And also what is the Q1 charge of this electron? What is the charge of the electron? Uh, charge of this electron in, a, in each body that is equal to 10 to the power of 26 into 1.6 into 10 to the power of uh, minus 19. Similarly, Q2 is equal to 10 to the power of 26 into 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19. Now substitute these values in this formula. You know that 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught value in 9 into 10 to the power of 9. Upper 9 into 10 to the power of 9 into 10 to the power of 26 into 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 into 1 point uh, sorry 10 to the power of 26 into 1.9 into 10 to the power of minus 19 whole divided by 1 square. That is equal to what? 9 into 1.6 into 1 point uh, 6 here also 1.6. 1.6 into 1 squared is what? 1 only into 10 to the power of 26 plus 26 how much? 52 plus 9 minus uh, minus 19 minus 19 minus 19 plus minus 19 is equal to minus uh, 13. On, uh, on simplifying these relations we will get a uh, we will get what is the answer we will get? That is equal to 1.6 into 1.6 that is equal to um, 23.04 into 10 to the power of 23 that is unit of force that is equal to Newton. That's all. That's all about this uh, problem. This is the answer for the problems. About how much of this uh, electrostatic force between the both the human body that is equal to 23.04 into 10 to the power of 23 newtons. How it comes you know so, see this is the number of electrons already have after one percentage of the electrons how much of this uh, electron is lost 10 to the power of uh, 1 by 100 into 10 to the power of 28 we get 10 to the power of 28 electrons. Upper, what is the force between these electrostatic force between the two atoms? The P is equal to 1 by 4 by epsilon naught Q1, Q2 divided by R square. Up 9 into 10 to the power of 9. We have to substitute these values and multiply. You will get finally 23.04 into 10 to the power of 23 newtons. Okay, that's all. Now we pass on to this word. Um, third sum, uh, I already thought, uh, um, thought in this word um, theoretical. This is similar to that of this one problem I solved in the theoretical part. Okay, third. Uh, and um, fifth one you see, fourth one you have to work it out, the easiest one only. That is you have to use the formula for electrostatic force. In a, what is the force between the two objects in electrostatics as well as what is the force between the two masses in magnetism. That formula you have to use and you have to compare both formula and you will get an answer. Okay, fifth one. Fifth one uh, diagram is given. What are the, uh, that is uh, you have to draw the free body diagram and find out what are the force acting on that particular body. Okay, that is also given in your solution is given in your book. Okay, now sixth one. Sixth one. I read out the sixth. Uh, I read out the sixth problem. Consider an electron traveling with a speed v naught and entering into a uniform electric field E vector which is perpendicular to V naught vector as shown in the figure ignoring gravity obtain the electron's acceleration, velocity and position as function of time. Okay. Okay, I have the this one. What is the question? Number 6. Now let us draw this one. And this is first start. And this is negative charge. Therefore the electric field from positive to negative charge. A electric field is along these directions. Let us consider an electron. This is what? Electron. Electron. Half velocity, initial velocity, V naught vector. 
it is moving uh, on entering into this uh, field it is accelerated by this what electric field therefore it moves in this directions okay let us assume that this is x axis this is y axis okay now we have to find out they are asked to calculate what ignoring gravity obtain the electron accelerations once the electrons entered into this electric field this electron will experience force due to electric field but we know that electric field e is equal to f by q that is equal to f by q is nothing but what charge here the charge is electron up minus e up f is equal to minus e into v how to find out this acceleration we have one formula f is equal to m into a up a is equal to f by m that is equal to what is f minus e e divided by m okay see so here this acceleration is equal to minus e this is e is electric field this is charge of the electron m is the mass of the electrons here the negative charge here it is accelerated along which directions opposite to y direction appa in order to represent in vector quantity a vector is equal to the minus e into e by m into j cap and this is nothing but what accelerations now we are going to find out this what velocity you know that there are three such a straight line motion equations first one first one is uh, b is equal to u plus at second one that is s is equal to ut plus half at square third one v square is equal to u square plus 2a yes now we have to find out the velocity of this electron appa we have to uh, pick out the first equations appa second la we have to calculate b is equal to u plus at see here this is final velocity initial velocity acceleration time see what is the initial velocity here v not v not is the initial velocity okay appa final velocity they are asking appa v is equal to u not what is u is equal to initial velocity v not here at present while it while it entered into this electric field what is it velocity initial velocity is v not ha appo this motion is along x directions after getting acceleration its motion is uh, deviated its direction is deviated along this what negative y directions appo therefore v not is along which directions where uh, along this what positive directions uh, the positive x directions appo that is uh, i cap while writing in vector notations plus what is it a? a is equal to we already calculated minus e by m into t into j cap appo that is equal to b not i cap plus into minus minus e divided by m into t into j cap b vector okay this is the velocity next we going to find out this what position as a function of time position as a function of time third one position appa we have to pick out the second appa s is equal to ut plus half at square now position means what displacement appa therefore displacement in place of s i am going to write r position vector r vector is equal to initial velocity u what is initial velocity u v not this initial velocity is what u not appa v not into i cap appa t is clear appa multiply t plus 1 by 2 what is acceleration acceleration is minus a e by m into t square into j cap appa therefore this relation becomes r vector is equal to v not t into i cap plus into minus 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 1 by 2 a e by m into t square into j cap this is the position of this earth. position of this what electron with respect to time and this is the limit what velocity of this electron this is the acceleration of this electrons while it entered into this electric field in this way okay let's solve next seventh question
సెవెంత్ క్వశ్చన్ హరిడోట్ ద సెవెంత్ క్వశ్చన్ ఎ క్లోజ్ ట్రయాంగులర్ బాక్స్ ఈస్ కెప్ట్ ఇన్ అన్ ఎలక్ట్రిక్ ఫీల్డ్ ఆఫ్ మ్యాగ్నిట్యూడ్ ఈస్ ఈక్వల్ టు టూ ఇంటి టెన్ టు ప్రాఫ్ త్రీ న్యూటన్ పూలం ఫోర్ మైనస్ వన్ ఆస్ షోన్ ఇన్ ద ఫిగర్ క్యాల్కులేట్ ద ఎలక్ట్రిక్ ఫ్లెక్స్ త్రూ ద వెర్టికల్ రెక్టాంగులర్ సర్ఫేస్ స్లాంటెడ్ సర్ఫేస్ అండ్ ఎంటైర్ సర్ఫేస్ ఓకే now they are giving one rectangular box kept in an electric field of magnitude seventh sum of electric field load magnitude enna 2 into 10 to the power of 3 newton coulomb power minus 1 now let us draw this uh, diagram now okay see here this is a rectangular box placed in an electric field of a electric field is along this directions these are the electric field directions and this angle is 60 degree given and this one is 5 cm and this uh, this length this side angle is this side the length is 15 okay not length yes 15 cm now we have to find out what is the flux passing through this what uh, vertical surface flux passing through the vertical rectangular surface vertical rectangular surface la what is the flux first of all you have to find out the formula phi is equal to e a cos theta this is the formula to calculate what flux electric flux let us choose this uh, vertical rectangular surface of a vertical rectangular surface we have to choose and this is the rectangular vertical rectangular surface and this is the slanted surface and uh, after that in third part we have to find out the total flux passing through the entire this uh, uh, triangular box okay now see this is length this is breadth upper now we have to calculate the flux upper see here the electric field is passing along this directions and this is a bit illa this rectangular surface electric field is along this directions see the area of this point in the area of this the normal to the area is along this directions upper normal to the area is along this directions ba and the e is along this direction upper therefore e is along this directions the area da is along this directions e da na e da cos theta okay so e da cos theta See, so, what is the angle between them? 180 degree. For now, substitute here. Papa, e is nothing but what is the value given? 2 into 10 to the power of 4. Plus 3 into what is the area? Area is equal to length into breadth. Area of the rectangle is length into breadth. Papa, length is 5 centimeter. Papa, 5 into 10 to the power of minus 2 into what is uh, B? B is nothing but what? b is uh, this breadth uh, upper 15 into 10 to the power of minus 2 into cos what the angle here the angle given is 60 degree cos angle cos angle what is the angle between uh, a and e is what 180 degree upper cos 180 degree see in a slanted uh, in rectangular uh, vertical rectangular surface we have to find out what is the flux passing through it because it is placed in an electric field upper therefore what is the flux passing through it Apo, therefore, flux formula Ea cos theta. Now we have to find out theta. Apo, theta we have to see electric field is along this directions. If a rectangle surface is along this directions, the field is passing this directions. Apo, the area is pointing outwards. Apo, the area is along this direction, field is along this direction. Apo, what is the angle between E and A? Because theta is the angle between E and A. Apo, that is equal to 180 degree. Apo, cos 180 degree apply panina. What the answer we will get? That is equal to 10. 10 into 15, 150 into cos 180 is equal to minus 1 into 10 to the power of minus 2 plus minus 2 minus 4 minus 4 plus 3 minus 1 that is equal to minus 150 into 10 to the power of minus 1 that is equal to minus 15 flux of the unit in a newton meter square coulomb power minus 1 that is the electric flux passing through this what vertical rectangular surface this is the first part second part they are asking to calculate what flux passing through this what uh, slanted surface in the slanted surface we have a flux pass out okay 
அப்போ தேர்போர் திஸ் டிஸ்டன்ஸ் இந்த சைடு நமக்கு தெரியும் we don't know about this side அப்போ we have to calculate that side இப்போ calculate பண்ணுனா now we have to take the separate diagram here and this is 60 degree given see here this is electric field and this area is what that is the DA vector அப்போ this is the angle between them okay and this is 90 degree இப்போ see here this is 90 and this is what 30 degree okay அப்போ in order to calculate this distance இந்த distance நாம் என்ன எடுத்துக்கலாம் the distance are x in எடுத்துக்கலாம் அப்போ therefore let us take a pass 60 degree is equal to what adjacent this is adjacent this is adjacent this is high part this is what opposite அப்போ pass 60 is equal to what adjacent adjacent at value என்ன 5 5 into 10 to the power of minus 2 divided by hypotenuse. Hypotenuse I am taking x. Upper x. Upper x is equal to 5 into 10 to the power of minus 2 divided by power 60 1 by 2. Upper that is equal to 10 into 10 to the power of minus 2. Upper x order value now. This side order value 10 centimeter we are applying. Okay. Now we have to find out what is the flux passing through this slanted surface. Upper again we have to write the formula. 5 is equal to Ea cos theta. That is equal to what is E? E is nothing but 2 into 10 to the power of 3 into what is the area? Area is equal to again length, this length into breadth. Above that is 10 into 10 to the power of minus 2 into 15 into 10 to the power of minus 2 into again. This part, this is the angle of the angle. Theta is the angle of the angle. Above see, theta is the angle between E and E. E and E is equal to the angle of theta. Theta is equal to the angle of theta. Above therefore, so, I am going to extend this line. Okay. Therefore, this becomes 90 degree. This becomes, what is the angle here? This angle here. This is 39 degree, 60 degree. Therefore, we have to write cos 60 degree. Understood? Because, same thing. Let us take two parallel lines. And it is intersected by one third line. What is the angle here? The same angle line is also taken here. Okay, likewise, I am taking here, that is equal to, again, 2 into 10 for 20, sir, okay, uh, 2 into 10 into 115 into, cos 60 is 1 by 2 into 10 to the power of minus 1. So, 2, 2 cancel, up, uh, 10 into 15 is equal to how much? 150 into 10 to the power of minus 1, that is equal to 15 newton meter square coulomb power minus 1, that is the flux due to electric field. Flux to passing through this slanted surface. In the slanted surface, we put on only the slanted surface or any other flux to pass out. Okay, what is the total flux to passing through this water triangular box? Okay, the total flux in the final number number that is I'm just erasing here. Total flux. Total flux is equal to total flux is equal to flux through this what slanted surface. What is the flux through this slanted surface? This is the flux through this vertical surface. Vertical surface. This is a flux through this what slanted surface. Up. Therefore, what is the total flux passing through the triangular box? We have to add both this one. Up. Minus 15 plus 15 that is equal to 0. For what is the total flux passing through this entire triangular box kept in an electric field of magnitude? This much my 2 in 10 to the power of 3 Newton Coulomb power minus 1. That is equal to what? 0 only. That is the answer for that question. Okay. Now, the 8th one already it is uh, similar to the examples problem only. 9th one. Now we have to find out the 9th one. A spark plug, a spark plug in a bike or a car is used to ignite the air fuel mixture in the engine. It consists of two electrodes separated by a gap of around 0.6 mm gap as shown in the figure. To create the spark, an electric field of magnitude 3 in 10 to the power of 6 volt per meter is required. What potential difference must be applied to produce the spark? If the gap is increased, does the potential difference increase or decrease or remains the same? Find the potential difference if the gap is 1 millimeter. You have to find out the three such parts. Okay. Question number 9. Question 
See? What is the given here? A spark plug in a bike or a car is used to ignite a air filled mixture in the engine. It consists of two electrodes separated by a gap of around 0.6 mm. 6 mm. That is D is given. Question number 9. D separate electrode or distance 0.6 mm. That is equal to 0.6 into 10 to the power of minus 3 meter. To create a spark, the electric field of magnitude is required. So, how much of electric field is required? That is 3 into 10 to the power of 6 volt per meter is required. Find out what is the potential difference must be applied to produce the spark. I mean, now, potential difference, we know that the formula V is equal to E into D. This is the formula. Potential difference, electric field, distance between the two electrodes. Okay. Upper V is equal to, what is E given? Very easiest one. Straight away we will get answer. In the D is equal to 0 0.6 into 10 to the power of minus 3. But that is equal to 3 into 0 0.6 into 10 to the power of 3. Upper around 0 0.6 into 3. 18 here. Upper uh, 0 0.6 into 18. Upper 18. 18, 1.8 into 10 to the power of 3. Okay. Up therefore, that is equal to 1.8 into 1000. But that is equal to 1000. What is unit volt? So, how much of potential is needed in order to produce such a spark? That is equal to 1800 volt. If or when the distance between the two electrodes is such that. Second part. If the gap is increased, now the D is increased, what about B? Whether it is increased or decreased or remains the same. I mean, now, see here, in second part, E is constant. Con potential electric field is constant. Upper B is proportional to D. D increases, D increases, B also increases. That is the second part. If D decreases, B also decreases. Okay. Third one. Third one. Find the potential difference if the gap is 1 millimeter. If the gap is 1 millimeter. Say, if the gap, if the D is 1 millimeter. I already told, D increases, potential is also increased. What about this B? B is equal to what? Uh, 3 into 10 to the power of 6 into 1 into 10 to the power of minus 3. Upper, what happens? That is a 3 into 10 to the power of 3. That is equal to uh, 3000. 3000 volt. Automatically it is increases. Okay. These are sort of the three parts. Potential increases. Uh, distance increases. Potential is also increases. Distance increases. Potential increases. If the distance is 0.6 mm, the potential is 1800 volt. In the uh, given electric field E. Okay. That's all about this uh, sum. Okay. Now, we will see, we will move to this what 11th problem. Calculate the resultant capacitance for each of the following combination of capacitors. Okay, 1, 2, 3, A, B, C, D, E and 5 such uh, circuit diagram is given here. Okay, uh, now we have to find out the capacitance of this uh, combination of this capacitor. Okay, let us uh, move this one level to problem. First one is, type was is given. Therefore, we have to first calculate, consider 
uh, let us take it. Let a uh, let a let a capacitor two and three are in parallel. Apa therefore, uh, what is the capacitor? What capacitors are these parallel combinations? Uh, Cp is equal to what? Uh, C, what is the formula? C1 plus C2. So that is equal to C0 plus C0. That is equal to 2 C0. This is what capacitor in parallel control to capacitance. So therefore, the above circuit begins. This one. C0. This value is what? 2 C0. Now, the C0 and the 2 C0 are in series combinations. So therefore, what is the capacitance of this combination? That is equal to that is uh, series nuclear of uh, CS is equal to uh, that is total capacitance series combination. What is the total capacitance we have to calculate? Uh, 1 by CS equal to 1 by C1 plus uh, 1 by C2. And this is C1 and this is C2. What is the effective capacitance in series combination we have to calculate? 1 by C1 is C0 plus 1 by C2 is what? 2 C0. Uh, that is equal to 2 C0 plus C0 divided by uh, 1 by C0 is common, we have to take it out. 1 by C0 is common, no? 1 by C0 is taken it out. Apa therefore, 1 by 1 plus, or 1 by 1 is nothing but what? 1 plus 1 by 2. That is equal to 3 by 2 with 1 by C0. That is equal to 3 by 2 C0. That is the answer. What? 2 by R. Uh, okay. Apa 1 by C is equal to, 1 by C is equal to, 3 by 2 into what? C0 clear. Therefore, C is equal to 2 C0 by 3. Is it correct answer? 2 C0 by 3? Yes. Like uh, in this way, we have to solve, it. solve this what? This is uh, such a circuit diagram. Okay. Now we pass on to this what? B sub. Pass on to the B sub. Now to the B. How it is given to capacitor again C0, 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 C0. Okay, let's see this capacitor 1, 2, 3, 4. As you get the first to calculate now capacitor. Capacitor of 1 and 3 are in parallel. Upper therefore, effective capacitor Cp is equal to what? C0 plus C0 that is equal to 2 C0. Similarly, similarly, capacitor 2 and 2, 4 are in parallel. Upper therefore, Cp1 this one, this is Cp2 that is equal to what? This capacitor 2 and 4 are in parallel now. Our CP is equal to formula and CP is equal to C1 plus C2. That is the formula. But therefore, this is C1, this is C2. But therefore, C1 is what? C0 plus again C0. That is equal to 2 C0. But therefore, the above uh, circuit uh, reduced to like this. But this is what? CP1, this is CP2. Okay? Now, these two are in series con uh, connections. Now, what is the effective capacitance we have to calculate? Uh, uh, capacitance series means what is the formula? 1 by C is equal to 1 by C1 plus uh, 1 by C2. But now, we have to apply here. 1 by C is equal to 1 by C1. C1 is what? Cp1. 1 by Cp1 is what? 2 C0. Plus 1 by C2. Cp is what? This is C1. This is C2. Cp is Cp2. Cp2 is what? 2 C0. That is equal 1 by C0 common. Take it out. Apa therefore, 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 that is equal to what? Half plus half that is equal to 1. That is equal to 1 by C0. Apa 1 by C is equal to 1 by C is equal to 1 by C0. Or C is equal to C0. And this is the final effective capacitance of these combinations. Okay? Next step. Third one. C1 
sigma, sigma, sigma. 1, 2, 3, 3 capacitors is given here. Okay, now we have to find out the capacitance, effective capacitance of these combinations. But see, now these can be arranged like this. This is 1, 2, 3. Sina, Sina, Sina. So what is the effective capacitance? All are in parallel combinations. So therefore, effective uh, combination in parallel connection that is equal to uh, that is C naught plus C naught plus C naught. That is equal to what? 3 C naught. This is nothing but what? Effective. Answer is 3 C naught. Okay. Now we pass on to this what? Fourth one. Fourth one. Uh, A, B, C, D. A, B, C. What is given in your book? What effective capacitance of this positive uh, capacitor given in the circuit? Okay, let us choose uh, this one and two are in what series connections. Okay, one and two for uh, based on uh, across uh, P and Q, uh, one and two will be the series. Let us take it. Let the one capacitor, let uh, capacitor one and two are in series. Therefore, 1 by C is 1, that is equal to 1 by C naught plus 1 by C naught. Okay, all the capacitor values are given here. 1 by C. This is C1, C2, and this is C3, and this is C4. Okay, but what is that? 1 and 2, 1 and 2, what is the capacitance here? C1, this is C2. Okay, now we'll solve this one. C2 plus C1 divided by C1, C2, that is 1 by CS1. Or CS1 is equal to C1, C2 divided by C1 plus C2. Okay. Now, similarly, C3 and C4 is also in series. Therefore, once again, we have to find out the effective uh, capacitance in for the series combinations. But therefore, let uh, letter 3 and 4 are in series. Let uh, capacitor capacitor 3 and 4 in series. Aba therefore, 1 by C S2 that is equal to 1 by C3 plus 1 by C4. That is equal to what? C4 plus C3 cross multiply. Okay? A C3 into C4 that is 1 by C S2. Okay? But therefore, C S2 that is equal to C3 C4 by C3 sorry, C4 plus C3. Okay, without effective capacitance is this one, without effective capacitance is like this. Okay, therefore, the upper circuit becomes ripple. Okay. And this is CS1, this is CS2. This is what R and S. Okay, now see, across R and S, this two are every Vinaka parallel. Okay, therefore, what is the effective capacitance for this combination since they are in parallel? Now, therefore, Cp is equal to Cs1 plus Cs2. Now, substitute here. But therefore, Cp is equal to, what is Cs1? Cs1 is C1, C2 divided by C1 plus C2. Plus, what is Cs2? Cs2 is nothing but C3, C4 by C4, C3. Okay. Now we have to find out the answer. So therefore we have to make a cross multiplication. That is equal to C1, C2. Sorry, C4 plus C3. Okay. C4 plus C3 plus C3, C4 into into C1 plus C2. Whole divided by C1 plus C2 into C4 plus C3. Okay, that is equal to C1, C2, C4 plus C1, C2, C3 plus C3, C4 C1 plus C3, C4, C2 
4 divided by C1 plus C2 into C4 plus C3. This is the effective capacitance. This is the effective capacitance. Okay. That's all. Now, you, you only find out this what last problem. That is C0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 capacitors are given there. Okay. Uh, you find out this answer, the answer is wrong. Okay. Uh, no problem with the circuit diagram. Okay. Likewise, you have to apply this uh, C1 and C2 are first series uh, and the C3 and C4 are also in series. Now, make it all this one are in parallel. But therefore, what is the effective capacitance? You have to just work it in your home. Okay. Next, 14th, 14th problem. 14th problem. What is given in 14th problem? For a given capacitor configuration, find the charges on each capacitor, potential difference across them, and energy stored in each capacitor. Okay? Now, let us draw this circuit given in the book. That is, which is some 14th sum. This is also on screen one, uh, one time in a um, ordinary question paper. Uh, and accordingly, I will become positive as well. Connected to a battery plus minus 9 volt. This is A, B, C, D. And this is 8 microfarad, microfarad, and this is 6 microfarad, and this is 2 microfarad, and this is 8 microfarad. Find the charges on each capacitor. First they are asking charge on each capacitor. Next, what is the potential difference across each capacitor? And energy store, energy U. Energy stored in each capacitor they are asking. Okay. Now first we find out, see here, uh, the, this A, B, C, D, these are the capacitor connected to this what? Battery. See here, B and C are in parallel. And A and entire this one, this B plus C and D are in series to the of this what? Battery. We already studied about this what? Capacitor connected to this battery and disconnected from the battery. What is it produced when the capacitor is connected with the battery means I ah, see here when the capacitor in uh, here this A capacitor and B and C capacitor and D capacitor all are series combination to this what battery. Upper when the capacitor is given a series combination to battery, not voltage is not constant there, only charge is constant. Upper in the charge other charge charger. Okay. Up, uh, series length up, uh, what is the charges on one capacitor is constant and another capacitor also. Suppose, see here, these uh, two capacitors are parallel to the of this battery. Up, uh, when the capacitor is connected parallel to the battery means, here the voltage is constant, charge is not constant. Okay, you have to rem uh, remember these two things. Okay, first we have to calculate what is the charge on each capacitor. Here in a B, C, D in a charge in the we have to calculate. We know that capacitor formula C is equal to Q by B. C is equal to Q by B. Q is equal to C into B. What is a QA charge on a QA is equal to what is capacitor? 8 micro. Upper 10 micro means 10 to the power of minus 6. Okay. In the, what is potential here? See, potential when the capacitor is in what series means? Potential is not constant. The given potential that is 9 volt is equal to other. If your battery voltage is equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3. It will split up that we studied in the theory of path. Up 9 volt can be split up into 3 volt plus 3 volt plus 3 volt. Up in the volt, 3 volt are Up in the full volt are found in Okay. This is 3 volt are go. This is 3 volt. Okay. 3 volt are Therefore, what is the potential across this capacitor? 3 volt. That is equal to 8 is 24 into 10 to the power of minus 6. That is 24 micro unit of charge is full ohm. First, first 
charge. What is the charge on lake of acid? We found out. Similarly, what is the though it is this combination, you can get a charge or other charge are in here because here also the same capacitor only. But therefore, QD is equal to it is also same charge only. Now we have to find out what is the charge on B and C. But what is the charge on B and C? See here. Uh, B load, uh, QB is equal to what, uh, C 6 into 10 to the power of minus 6 into what is the potential C? These two are connected what parallel to the of this voltage upper potential is constant potential constant you can get the potential and the potential is equal to upper you can get 3 and you can get 3 therefore 6 and in the capacitor what is the voltage here? 3 upper that is equal to 18 micro Coulomb. Similarly, two C then are continuous. What is two microfarad here? Two into ten to the power of minus six into three. That is equal to six micro coulombs. Apa? What is the charge on here? B C D. We found out. Next, we found to find out what is the potential across this each capacitor. Apne a data solila. What is the potential here? Three volts. What is the potential here? In the this in the entire resistor three da mo. Because this one pa na. In this connected parallel, it is to parallel other. Once the capacitor is connected parallel to the of the battery, what is the potential there in each capacitor? It remains constant. Then, this is the power of 3 volt. Then, this is 3 volt. Then, this is 3 volt. Therefore, the potential at A is equal to 3 volt. And potential at B is equal to 3 volt. And potential at C is equal to 3 volt. And potential at D is also a 3 volt. That is even in your book. You just verify it as it is. Now we finally find out this word energy. Energy stored in each capacitor. Over the capacitor, energy store and then we have to calculate. Okay. Uh, so. mm. Now we find out this word energy stored in each capacitor. Upper, see here, uh, here the capacitor in series. Capacitor in series now are gone. Charge is constant. Charge constant. Are gone. We have to take the formula 1 by 2. U squared by C. But that is equal to 1 by 2. U A. What is the energy stored in A capacitor? Up 1 by 2. What is Q A? Q A is what? 24 micro coulombs. Up Q squared and our own 24 into 24 into 10 to the power of and minus 6 plus minus 6 are minus 12. Divided by what is C? C is 8 microfarad. 8 into 10 to the power of minus 6. We cancel up 10 to the power of minus 6 will go. This is 3 times will go. And this is 12, uh, uh, 12 times. 12 into 3 that is equal to what? 36 micro joules. UA. Up what is the energy stored in A capacity? 36 micro joules. Okay, very good. Next, see what is the energy stored in B capacitor? Energy stored in B capacitor, we have to find out. That is U B is equal to see here this uh, this is connect, this capacitor is connected this is what uh, parallel to the battery. Upper here potential is constant. Upper we have to take the formula as uh, half C B square. Upper one by two C. What is the capacitor here? Six micro. What is the potential here? Three three square in our own three into three. But that is equal to it will then again super three times. 3 3 is 9, 9 3 is 27 into 10 to the power of minus 6. Second one is 27 micro joules. Okay, very good. Okay, next. Uh, okay. Next we find out this word UC, energy stored in capacitor. Okay, C. So UC, this is also parallel combination. Okay, same formula we have to find out 1 by 2 into what is C? C is 2 microfarad. 2 into 10 to the power of minus 6 into what is uh, 3 again 9. 2 2 cancel that is 9 micro joules that is UC is 9 micro joules okay next we find out what energy stored in these capacitors what is the energy stored in this capacitor UD we have to uh, energy epsilon we have to find uh, we have to read this one as a epsilon UP SI LON epsilon okay so that is energy density that is epsilon D is equal to what that is a uh, uh, the same formula because this is series to that of this word battery, you know. But you have to find out this formula 1 by 2 q squared by c that is equal to 1 by 2. What is the q here? The same value 24 into 10 to the power of minus 6 whole square divided by c. What is the capacitance here? 8, 8 into 10 to the power of minus 6. That is equal to what? Again, you will get the same answer about the u is equal to what? 36 
micro drus okay that's all next we pass on to this next problem 15th one okay Fifteenth problem. What is given there? A capacitors P and Q have identical cross sectional area A. On the separation D, the space between the capacitors is filled with the dielectric of dielectric constant epsilon R as shown in the figure. Calculate the capacitance of these capacitors P and Q. Now they are given P and Q are the two capacitors given. Okay. See, uh, uh, draw here. This is uh, one of this capacitor. That is P capacitor, this one. Okay. So the area of the cross section of this sheet is A. You see, here it is filled with dielectric. So yeah, dielectric of dielectric constant of epsilon r. Let us take a Q capacitor. This capacitor is the, uh, uh, separated by distance D and this is area. Okay. Um, uh, see here. Here the dielectric is filled with the upper half distance. Aba therefore, the total distance is D. For you know the distance D by 2. Aba, this is epsilon R. Dielectric medium. This is R medium. Okay. Aba, this is R medium. R medium uh, uh, value in the epsilon R. Distance is D by 2. See here. Uh, here this is capacitance C1. Here the capacitor is C2, you have to write. This is capacitor C1, this is C2. Okay. This is R medium capacitor. This is what dielectric filled capacitor. Dielectric filled capacitor, this is R filled capacitors. Now we have to find out what is the capacitance of this capacitor. Okay. P. Or P la, what is the capacitance of the capacitor? Q la, capacitance of the capacitor. You have to find it. So here you see, now this capacitor can be split up into two. Upper. Therefore, the area can be divided into two. The area A by 2. The amplitude capacitor area of the area of this plate is A by 2. Dielectric field capacitor area of the A by 2 are finished. What is the formula? Formula to calculate the capacitance of the capacitor is C is equal to epsilon naught A divided by D. Now see here. Here the two such capacitors are in parallel combinations. Here is one capacitor, here is one capacitor. One is dielectric field, one is air field. Both of them are in parallel combinations. The parallel combination means we have the formula Cp is equal to C1 plus C2. Okay, that is equal to what is C1? C1 is air field. This is air field capacitor. Okay, epsilon naught A. What is area? A by 2. Divided by D plus C2. This is dielectric field. This is air field capacitor order. Capacitance value. And the dielectric field capacitance or capacitance value will be called epsilon naught. Epsilon naught A by D. Because epsilon naught is the dielectric constant of dielectric material filled within the capacitor place. Upper therefore, the formula begins like this. Plus, upper C2 is the limit what? Dielectric field capacitor. Upper other capacitance is the epsilon naught. Epsilon naught A divided by D. Okay. See here, the area, what is the area here? A by 2. But see here, up there for the FO equation becomes epsilon naught A divided by 2D plus epsilon naught epsilon naught A divided by 2D. But that is equal to, what are the constant values? It's not A by 2D is constant now. Take it out, 1 plus epsilon naught. This is the capacitance of this, what? Uh, P plate of uh, P capacitors. Capacitors of this P capacitors. Now, see here, now the distance is split up here. Now, half of the distance is filled with what? Uh, dielectric constant and half is air filled capacitor. Uh, but therefore, area is constant area. There is no change of area here. Only the distance can be varied here. But in that situation, what is the capacitor? You see here, here the capacitors are in what? That is a series connections. Okay. But uh, therefore, we have to find out what? 1 by 2. First, what is the capacitance of this capacitor? C. 